love it or quit it. First and foremost, make sure you enjoy it. The products that you take from concept into the real world as a fully fledged product or service you should have some affinity with. If your passion is fishing, great, go for that, if your passion is some type of sport, go for it. If like me, you get a kick out of business based products, then go for that. The reason that most people will tell you to go and create products for stuff you enjoy is simply because it's easier to do something if you're enjoying it, and the result is generally better than if you're bored out of your brain trying to create something you don't particularly care about, but there is a deeper reason for this too, and that's the connection we talked about earlier. It's far easier to come up with products if you're mixing with your market, or if you are in your target market. It's not easy to get ideas for solving problems that you know nothing about. So there. We have two, real reasons related to your productivity, success and happiness to pick a market you're passionate about. Which brings me on the final point in the product creation section, and probably the most important. The more you do, the more products you release and the more you mix with your chosen market, the more ideas will present themselves to you. It's up to notice it's happening. This will come with practice and experience. So I don't want you to worry if you've come through all this, and find that although you've been inspired, and a feel a little more alive about your business, and have a fresh new objective, that that concepts folder is looking a little empty right now. I assure you, if you follow what we've talked about to the letter, it will start to fill up and gather momentum. When I first started using this method some years back, the concepts folder had the odd idea floating about in it. Most of them weren't so good, and here I am down the line after putting up several websites and doing a lot of promotion for other people, mixing with these people and the business that we're all in, and suddenly having ideas that pop out at me from nowhere, sometimes three, four, five or more in a single day. Keep at it. It gets easier. Now, if you're thinking this a heck of a lot before we even start planning ideas, don't worry. The methods we've talked about here take minutes to put into action, and become second nature once you've mastered them. Not only that, but it gives you total confidence in what you're doing. You don't need to ask anyone else if you're doing well, or if your product is good anymore, because you know how to work it out yourself logically and methodically. And trust me when I say, it'll show, in your pocket at the end of the month, and in your customer's eyes.